Hi, I'm Mary Kopsinski, the CEO of Regolytics, and I am not here to give you an update on this week's 26,166 regulatory alerts. You know why? Because I counted, and today is actually the 250th episode of the Regolytics Regulatory Roundup. 250 weeks straight, no week off, ever. Except one time I let ChatGPT write my crypto song, and it was not great. That said, 250 weeks is 4.8 years. So for almost five years, I have driven my family crazy with TV Tuesday, every vacation, every holiday, and I, I just wanna celebrate it. I've really enjoyed getting to know many of you, especially some of you who've reached out and said you know absolutely nothing about regulation, but you still watch my show because you find it informative. And for some of you general counsel out there, I've really enjoyed monitoring interesting alerts on your behalf. And for those of you in healthcare, pharma, and insurance, I've really appreciated your feedback and getting to know these fascinating industries. But the most important thing for you to know is that having a handle on regulatory change is actually possible. It takes time, it takes reading, it takes thinking, but with the tech, my goodness, even I've been able to speed up my review exponentially since the dawn of GPT 3.5. But it doesn't change that Regolytics is still a growing company. It's not easy to build a business from scratch, and it certainly was brutal to raise capital in 2023, but I did it. And honestly, that alone, being a part of the 1.6% of funding that women-owned businesses got in 2023, it's a huge point of pride, and it makes me feel like a unicorn, even though we're not quite to unicorn status. But it doesn't change the fact that we need sponsorships. We need champions. We need people to recognize that this is a new era we're in and we need the leadership of the companies, the senior partners, the board members, the executive committee. Those are the people who need to be keeping a pulse on upcoming rules and regulations. So if you wanna help me out, I'm just gonna put it out there. I think it would be so cool if Jamie Dimon or Hester Pierce or, I don't know, David Solomon, Scott Kirby or Jeff Bezos shared one of my videos and said something like, if you don't follow Mary Kay, you're going to get caught off guard. I know, it's a stretch, but I believe in you and I believe in the power of good friendships. So, if you would do me the honor of making a point to share the next useful Regolytics update with your network, I would very much appreciate it. Tomorrow is the 4th of July holiday in the United States. I hope many of you are celebrating safely and joyfully as I am doing here in Issaquah, Washington at my, uh, my in-loves house. My in-laws, we call them in-loves. So that's it this week for Regolytics. We have the global supply chain of the world's regulatory alerts in one very easy to use place. And if you need a solution for anything related to regulation, give us a call.